Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Mini Intruder, and welcome back to Stellaris, where you join me here with the biggest empire in the galaxy. However, we don't quite have the friends. Like, I'd like to have more friends. I'd really like the Fafossans and the Raxar to end up in a great big federation with me. Then, then we'd be ready for the Endgame Crisis, which might already possibly be being rolled for, because I can't remember what date I said was the earliest year Endgame stuff can start happening. And bear in mind, just because there are Fallen Empires doesn't mean there has to be a war in heaven. There can be no war in heaven whatsoever. So it's entirely possible that, yeah, the good old religious lot over here and the material lot over here will simply not get involved with each other. Which is kind of a shame in some ways. I'd actually like them to get involved with each other. That would actually be quite fun. Then I could side with the religious guys and everything would be lovely and we could smash those stupid, stupid materialists. And I could maybe get a ring world for my trouble and a nice little launching off point to potentially attack the dwarves from. That would be lovely. Still, first things first, as we're potentially maybe starting to get towards the late game here... I need to set up my empire because I've got like 40 star bases right now and, uh, well, to be honest, they're not exactly efficiently laid out. So, uh, I need to do some better work with them. Like, for example, right here at Nodox, this here, this is a good little area. We've got the naval logistics officers and we've got five anchorages. So, that is leading to, yeah, a nice big increase in the fleet capacity. We need more stations that are like that. Like a bunch of little optimizations here, like Sal, which I believe is over here somewhere, I think is where Sal is. Yeah, just swap out a crew quarters for an actual naval logistics office, just to get some more actual stuff coming into the Empire here. Though actually, I've done a better job than I thought I had, I must have already been through this at some point. Ah, here's a big one. I think we inherited from these stupid, annoying bird people. The figure, that's it. I've already forgotten the bloody names. Yeah, we inherited a decent sized station there that's just covered in bloody guns. Well, we don't need it to be covered in bloody guns. It needs to be covered in anchorages. That's the thing. Right, as you can probably tell from the outliner, I've got a fair few improvements coming in across all of my many, many, flipping many star bases. Which is good, because as soon as they're all done, there's gonna be a lot of extra fleet capacity floating around inside my empire. Which is lovely, because I've got a lot of money to splurge right now. In fact, speaking of which, we probably need to start working on a new proper fleet. So I'm pretty sure these guys are almost at capacity already. Yes, over here, third fleet that's got its own flipping titan. I'd say we could probably do with building you up a little bit. And also, ah, there's the farms. That was done in just two flipping months. I probably wouldn't mind. Ooh, fleet command limit plus 20. That's, that's kind of nice right there. Yeah, Empire Leader Capacity plus one, I can definitely do without that. I wouldn't even mind a Star Base Capacity plus two, really, but I'll take the fleet thing. That's not even going to take that long. Right, this here is going to be the Raxar Alliance fleet, which will hopefully help the Raxar figure out what it is I'm after. It's going to have a leader, and if it can be a Raxar, that would just be flipping marvellous. No, tragically not. That is a shame. Uh, there is... all. There's a 40-year-old gale speed. Yeah, every flipping... Oh, can I not? Ah, I'm already up to max leaders, so sorry. This fleet's just going to have to do without for the time being. Right, into the fleet manager. So, this thing's already got... <laughs> this is a weird fleet. It's got no corvettes in it. Right, we should probably add some corvettes to, you know, this whole design. Right, that'll do. An isolation of Corvettes, eight shield class destroyers, just for a little bit of counter fire to any missiles that come in. A fair few cruisers, plenty of battleships, and a Titan in there as well. Now, that will take me massively over fleet capacity if I were to do that, but luckily I can only afford some of it anyway. Though, speaking of some of it, ooh. Yeah, actually, ooh. That, okay. Hang on, I need to find somewhere to dump some energy, because I'm about to go and get some more. Yeah, give us a few art monuments so we can slap those down whenever we lay down some new planets. That'll be just flipping lovely. Here, have some more stuff. Ooh. Right. You actually can't be floating too many of them. <laughs> oh, well. Right, to the sector menu, let's actually drain one of our sectors for minerals. And would you believe... Oh, wow. Okay, there's there's quite a lot of flipping minerals floating around here. 
Actually, Warm Sands has loads, uh, which is... Actually, that's only 15,000. That's 21,000. Ah, screw it, go. Boom, lovely. Now, the fleet. Yes, I'm aware we're at energy capacity, all right? It's fine. How about you just start spending... Yeah, spend 32,000 on ships. That's just marvellous. Oh, we got more research coming in as well. Ah, oh, there's the resource replicator. Loving that. Synchronized defences for defence platforms plus eight as an option. Ooh, nice. But, oh, focusing arrays. Construction. That's going to take a long time to do. Yes, yeah, synchronized defences. Just in case I really, really want to double down on one particular defensive area being really locked down. That'd be lovely. Also... The bloody seven systems. There's a lot of stuff that still needs to be done there. Now, I've got a plan, and I've slightly modified it from last time, which is the Romans. The Romans, the Romans, the Romans. I mean, how much did they really hate me that much? Oh, Okay, hang on. We've got something else going on here. So the seven minerals, several anomalies in the planet's biosphere have been discovered. Ecosystem is unstable and is not developed according to the projected models for a world of this type. Okay, a few of our colonists have stumbled on a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of a terraforming process, leaving the planet's biosphere in its current unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be able to reactivate the machinery. There's no telling what the end result will be the like, however. Well, that sounds fun. Let's get that flipping turned back on again so we can either demolish it, in which case we can learn something, or, yeah, in just one month. Let's just resume the process because it's slightly faster, like that. And when you say one month, it'll be done in like 14 days. Lovely. Now, the thing is, the Romans may hate me, but in theory, if I was to completely break them out of their current uh, little alliance, then Special what if... Oh... Okay, so as it turns out, um, that wasn't a good idea. Whatever alien life form designed the terraform equipment, their physiology was radically different from ours. The plant has been modified to support ammonia-based life and gruesome deaths. Okay, that, that was unfortunate in some ways. But on the plus side, we can now shove an observation research platform above it and just keep an eye on it. Because because now it can't be... Okay, I feel bad about that now. Also, it's now going to take bloody ages to get another colony ship over there. Fine, so the seven minerals was a bit of a bust. Okay, let's try the seven systems three. That one's not going to end with everybody dying horribly. And in addition, it's actually perfect. It's a bit of an energy world and it's got hazardous weather. So energy credits plus 20% is just spot on. In fact, as we need some lovely energy credits coming off that world, let's send the terrifying, monstrous plant creatures or whatever it is there. When it's supposed to be arthropods. I always thought you were plants. Huh, all right then. Yes, as I was saying, if I could completely break apart the Pax Romanus Federation and reduce them to a normal empire, I think, given enough time, they might actually be able to come round to us. Okay, now if I want to do that, I'm going to need to kill this group over here. Now, I'm going to guess claims over there would be expensive. Actually, no, it wouldn't, because you're very close to one of my vassals. Okay, this is of interest. If I just, yeah, leave the war off just a tiny bit, I could also get claims down on you, or I could just begin the war, start working up north here, lay some claims down over here later, and deal with you bastards. Because the members that are still surviving are Starfish, and Infinite Pond got total claims down on them. These guys down here and the Romans. Now, if I just kill all but one member of the Federation, Federation ceases to exist. At which point the Romans... Well, the Romans might actually try and join the Ganvius Empire and the Pithox just for self-defense. But we'd have to see about that. That would be interesting. Alternatively, these guys. I kind of want these guys to just basically become my vassals. That would provide... Oh, would that actually be helpful? So who's swearing at me now? Oh, it's the Zimmerpox. We haven't heard bad things from you for a while. And our physicist has died. That is a shame, yes. Luckily, we have got multiple sparks of genius floating around, which is very, very welcome indeed. So we'll just get one of you underway. Lovely. And hang on. Who is the new leader? Yes, I'm sure the mandate was unfulfilled. It was... Ooh! You're new and... Ooh! 
Spa oh, Space Miner! That's not the one I wanted. That's terrible. And champion- Okay, you are a terrible cat, Pope. Yeah, screw it. Let's just actually spend whatever influence I've got right now on claims we can actually make. Uh, that's just- Well, that's 60. I don't know where that one's. Oh, I guess it's further away from my vassals. Yeah, it's nice to know that distance to vassal is used to calculate claims. That's kind of useful. Can I actually get a- uh, Can I spend more efficiently? No, can't spend that. That's a 60. Uh, I guess I may as well claim the 60 down here in that case. So make that claim. So we've got that claim down. Fine. Remember, I've got four claims to make up here. Probably cost a couple of hundred in total, something like that. And convenient enough, the Cabbage Liberators are almost here. And my transport fleet is still very much around too. Now, I believe these worlds were already fairly well guarded. Uh, there's, hang on. You are, yeah. These worlds are well guarded. It's going to be a bit of a slow grind to make it through these because we will need to bother bombarding just to avoid throwing away huge numbers of troops for no reason, which is a shame. Uh, we can probably do better, in fact, if we just redeploy... Mm, Starfish Defense Fleet. Yeah, redeploy the Starfish Defense Fleet up north. I think the Romans are pretty busy right now. I think they're far too busy to be coming and dealing with us. I mean, if nothing else, the flipping Zimmer pucks are right at this moment. Oh, that's your capital worlds. That is the capital that just got taken out there, or at least the actual star base got taken out. You're not ready to try and take out Rome herself, but Rome is not looking desperately well guarded, to be honest. Rome is in a lot of trouble. And more research. Ah, battleship build speed and cost down. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And... Carrier Ops. Yeah, let's get Carrier Ops in, finally. Or Titan Hull Point, plus 2,000. Actually, plus 2,000 for a Titan's like nothing. Let's get Carrier Ops underway. I do enjoy a good bomber. If there's any trouble from the Romans, Shield Fleet can handle it. In fact, let's get Shield Fleet over here. So Shield Fleet's in a position to move between all of these if need be. The Infinite Pawn looks a lot more squishy and takeable, to be honest. Their worlds are a lot less guarded, so I think we should be able to just... Uh, yeah, we can definitely just throw our forces directly into an invasions over there. It's only the starfish who are dug in deep. Oh, and the shroud is ready to go too. Right, back in the shroud. Everyone back in the shroud because the shroud's good. So, 2,000 energy every flipping time. What do we have? Ooh, something different is happening here. Hello. The concept of time as we know it is alien to this part of the shroud. What can seem like centuries here may equal mere hours or minutes in the real world. If one knows where to look, it is even possible to glimpse into the future. Okay, unfortunately, precognition can lead to madness. But if successful, well, truly, who knows? <laughs> Medium probability of success, which as I understand it is about 50-50. Or at least 50 success, and then beyond that there's failure and critical failure. So... Oh dear. We unfortunately got some form of failure. Madness has overtaken our telepaths all at once. Their minds have been opened to inconceivable multitudes of options and probabilities that exist both in the past and the future. And what exactly? Oh dear. Right. So, uh, we didn't get anything and it's going to take them a while to recover. Well, that's a shame. Well, let's distract the people from the failure of our telepaths by just invading the starfish again. Because that always seems to go down well with the tabloids. And those carrier operations done very, very quickly indeed. Swarm of missiles. I don't feel like I need any of that. Um, hmm. None of this is that great. Let's just get cruiser patterns down. I might well use a lot more cruisers if I decide to go into a heavy bombing stance as a strategy. And you want... Ah, you want more energy for spice. That's absolutely fine too. Lovely. And yeah, look at that. My fleet capacity is just flying up at the minute. Love that. Right. Starfish, me and you have to have a chat. I know you're adorable, but I'm afraid we're doing this again. Uh, so, yeah, we need to conquer to enforce our claims. Anyone interested in getting involved? No, no one is interested in getting involved. Uh, so, we are done. Declare the war, and we feel each death we cause, don't make, don't make us do this. Oh, I'm very sad. Uh, right, okay. 
I assume this is all about to go angry. Yes, indeed it is. So, there's a small force down here. Let's immediately get on top of them. See if we can start knocking out some of these bastards. You get in over here. They're located in... Yeah, that's starfish territory right now. So, that's all fine. And plenty more fleet capacity is entering the Empire right now. These guys should be ready to move in momentarily. That is... Is that general security? No, that's cabbage liberators. Where's General Security right now? I feel like they should probably be getting involved in this. Hang on. General Security fleet is... Oh. They're just over there. Right. Well, should they be over there? I feel like you shouldn't be over there. That doesn't really do you much good. Actually, I tell you what. Come down here. Because by the time you've made it over there... Governor's going to trait. Um, how's my gateway getting on? So we're building a gateway. Also, this guy has become unyielding. Very nice. Um, ooh. Ooh. Speak of the flipping devil, we're actually going to get to see live a gateway construction site become a gateway. I'm guessing it's not going to be that spectacular. I'm guessing it's just going to basically pop into being a gateway. Is there going to be an animation? No, it just pops into being a gateway. Right, we've got a new gateway down. So now, as a result, if I tell that fleet to uh, head over to here, I'm going to guess they're going to... Okay, they are going to use the gateway. Good, it's just the gateway does actually come out there. So yeah, we've now got a shortcut across the entire empire. Very, very useful indeed. Uh, okay, you guys, probably now you've done that, you want to be... Actually, is there a planet over here? Hang on. Yes, there are multiple planets here. That's annoying. Um, right, heavily fortified. And not so heavily fortified. Fine. Um, you head over here and just begin bombarding this world, please. And you... I assume you're almost there. Yes, there we go. This is only 16,000, but it's plenty enough strength to just basically go through all of this. Clear out this. And this is just a station. Then we can cut through here and hopefully... Actually, you know what? Maybe our actual vassals will jump in and help. Just double check these guys aren't planning to counterattack. No, they're just stuck in their own space right now. There's 4,200 strength. Actually, they might be planning to counterattack. Look at that, 4,200. Glad I was keeping my eye on you. They're heading in this direction. Okay. Well, I'd say we probably want to try and catch you. Also, you're now level 5. Unyielding... Fleet Logistics and Gale Speed. Not a terrible combination. Fleet Logistics is a bit weak, but other than that, yeah. Back off. Let's actually smash their fleet if they're going to try and warp over to me, which I'm pretty confident they're about to do. Meanwhile, in Mighty Duck Space, yes, indeed, the fleets are moving in. The stations are being torn apart. They cannot stand up to any of this. Uh, in which case, yeah, we may as well head to here. And then straight up to one of the Mighty Ducks, two remaining planets. And I believe, uh, yep, we've managed to get on top of this force right here. Construction. This force is going to be utterly destroyed. Lovely, well done. Uh, so that force has been torn apart. Now we can head over here and start occupying this area too. Nice. Let's have a little glance down at the Romans, make sure they're not planning anything stupid. No, that's a mushroom fleet. Uh, so that's just chilling out there, currently bombarding one of the Roman worlds. Whatever the Romans can do, yeah, I'm not convinced they're planning to do it to us. There's nothing, nothing, no. Wherever the Romans are, there it is. There's a, oh. Yeah, as it turns out, things not going well for the Romans right now. They just keep getting caught out of position by mushroom fleets. In fact, speaking of them, their war's got to be going appallingly right now. Uh, yeah, they're in a defensive war, and their war exhaustion is 55% and rising, so they're in trouble. I'm not sure why I want to actually be friends with the Pax Romana, to be honest. I feel like there's not going to be much of it left after this war with the Mushrooms is done. The Mushrooms are going to help themselves to a lot of territory. Actually, how are me and the Racks are getting on? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my goodness. Plus 14. Plus flipping 14. And we're only 14 off a non-aggression pact. Now, a non-aggression pact would significantly increase the trust and the lack of threat in particular, because there's no threat if there's non-aggression pacts. Okay. And I think we can get... Oh, yeah. We can get at least another 12 trust, assuming trust caps are plus 100. Then I throw some generous deals at them. 
Okay. I think we can have a non-aggression pack with the Raxar. This could be just flipping beautiful, in fact. Right, begin bombarding this world down here, which is... Uh, this world is actually one of the very few that doesn't actually require bombardment. Uh, bring in the armies. We'll simply take that world over. No problem at all. And as for this fleet... This fleet is doing very nicely. You start bombarding Macau over here. Again, doesn't really need it. In fact, you're probably better off passing straight through. And no, you can't pass straight through because of the stronghold and the FTL inhibition there. Fine, so you're going to have to bombard that world. Sorry. And there's actually a raiding fleet passing through these parts as well. Moving to Nostea. Don't know where that is, but doesn't seem to involve me. Or at least I hope it doesn't. And the general security fleet has just rolled up too. So we've got like 50,000 there, 54,000 there, another 16,000 there. I think up here... Now that's Holfax Defence, that's just basically a small standing force. Yeah, the Raxar Alliance fleet is up to nearly 38,000 already. And that fleet is actually at... It's not at full strength. There's clearly not enough battleships in it. So why are you saying it's at full strength? It's... No, it's not. It's... No, it's not. It's not at full strength. We've got spare fleet capacity. We've got... What do you want about? Hang the flip on here. Let's just reinforce shield fleet a bit and also just hit the reinforce all button. There we go. That's a very, very large number of stations that just jumped into production there. So that will hopefully be... A healthy amount of new ships coming in. Right, the army's arrived. 1,200 strong. Get down onto the planet, please. The strength you're facing is, yeah, 200 and falling. Let's just get down there and take it. And, yeah, we've accidentally bombed their... Oh, we've bombed one of their farms. I'm very sorry. Right, let's just get down there. We don't have anything that's massively collateral damage -y, apart from the Hawking Beasts. The Hawking Beasts are a bit on the big side, I will admit. Let's just keep an eye on the planet, see if we do any more damage to it. <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh, we're already doing very, very nicely indeed. If you'd like to... Actually, I don't think you need to withdraw. I think you're fine. I think my armies are strong enough to handle this. Yeah, abso flipping loot -ly. Armies starting to collapse. Any collateral? Doesn't look like it to me. Taken over. Nice and peaceful. Apart from that one farm we accidentally blew up. So... That's one good thing taken right there, lovely. Right, keep the fleets moving here. Cabbage Liberators can just move on and start claiming some of this stuff and bombarding worlds as well. Everything should be okay at this point. You head down, yeah, through... Wait, can you get down to here? Yeah, the only way for you to get down to here is to actually go the long way round, irritatingly. Because uh, we haven't actually taken over Neshmet's inhibition from the Stronghold yet. But it's not that long a journey. Actually, hang on. John. John, what are you doing? Remember, we researched some technology for exactly this purpose. Like, jump drives, one of the most useful things they're actually good for is moving around armies uh, in the events that, uh, yeah, there's a lot of annoying FTL inhibition because jumps do not count as a kind of hyperdrive, so they can't be inhibited. It's beautiful. So, we've got those forces straight over there. Lovely. And now you guys can just get straight down onto the ground because the actual penalties only apply to the ships, not to the armies. So everything is oh blimey. There's only two armies left. I feel like this in some ways is overkill, but no matter, eh? And nice and easy. That falls straight over to us. And someone else is also at war. The Raxar against the Rhino Turtles. I'm guessing that's just going to be the end of them then. They're just going to completely finish them off. Fine. Now, what else do we have here? Ooh, this is interesting. It would appear that the Infinite Pond has deployed... Oh, so are you heading in my direction? No, you're just chilling out there. You come down here, take care of this, please. It would appear the Infinite Pond is planning to attack one of my... Oh, no, it's not. It's just passing around the outside. Okay, that's, that's all okay. And that is the... You want to give me energy credits for that? No, sorry. No deal. I don't need energy credits. I need min- oh, I don't even need minerals. I want minerals. It's more useful to me. Uh, so, it would appear the Infinite Pond is thinking about going for a bit of a poke somewhere. Where did they just go? I could have sworn they were around here somewhere or other. Yeah, there was- I literally just had eyes on them. Where have they gone? 
Well, I'm sure if they attack me, we'll become aware of it. It'll be fine. And there's cruiser build speed as well. Lovely. Let's just get, yeah, let's get kinetic five ready to go. The gorse cannons would be welcome. And only one of these two planets is actually well guarded. It's illuminated reef. So we will bombard that in preparation for taking that over. No sign of whatever happened to those. Oh. Well. Colour me surprised. The Romans just came in and took a little bit of something off me. Um, probably should have noticed that was happening. Uh, well, okay. If we're going to be dicks about this, Rome, I think you're going to need to be taught a lesson, aren't you? So I think I'll just help myself to these here systems as I'm passing by to reclaim my system and you can just naff off. Thank you very, very much indeed. Right, Shield Fleet will basically now just go through Roman space, taking a bit of territory off them, because screw them. Is that the healthcare campaign? There we go, get that straight back on again, lovely. And other than that, my fleet's just swarming over the north. But yeah, I need to pay attention to the south. The Romans feel like they're not quite done yet, or at least they'd like to pretend they aren't. Now, slight annoyance. These two guys have got closed borders, and then there's not a way through down here. So, I'm going to send the Starfish Defense Fleet. Yeah, I'm just going to send them on a point-to-point -point jump over here. And just basically have them clear out uh, the Mighty Duck territory. They're a little bit on the damage side, but honestly, it's extremely light damage. They should just be able to walk through the rest of it at this point. I don't see a problem there. Meanwhile, in Starfish space, world after world falls to me, and they're good worlds too. They won't need any development. I can just shove them straight into a sector. Life will be good. Ah, we've found another tenant of tab. Wait, what are you doing? You're... Hang on, where are you? You're... You've managed to just get massively ahead of yourself for some reason. Okay, well, don't panic. The rest of the fleet will be coming along. Did you just win by yourself? No, no, you didn't. I think you walked out. Well, that's fine. The 20,000 strength of Shield Fleet has at this point arrived. And Shield Fleet can now just report to this area, which we will just be taking off the Romans because screw that. And they're losing a lot of other territory to the mushrooms, so I'm not really sure they're in a position to strike back because uh, there are big mushroom fleets and transport fleets coming in. All right, the mushrooms aren't just skirmishing or playing here. They want to take a lot of territory off the Romans. I think we're pretty much seeing the end of the Federation over here. Like, what's going to be left after it's done? Not much. I mean, honestly, right now me and the Mushrooms are kind of just racing for scraps. Oh, we finally ran into the Infinite Pond Federation fleet. They decided to head into... They were just in Rathador, which we were just passing through on our way to murder them. So that's the Federation fleet taken care of. So that is not going to save them. We've actually got ourselves... Oh, that's that's a Roman fleet that's badly outnumbered and on the run. The Romans are just retreating at this point. They are not having a fun time at all. Right, I'm just going to basically start throwing some armies in at this point. Who's swearing at me? It is... Oh, it's the Deficans. We don't hear from you very often. Um, I should probably just basically start training some new armies. I believe we've got, in the three worlds, there is, yeah, the Jazajan Sanctuary. Uh, so in which case, let's just actually just get some more uh, Jazajan Assault armies in production ready. Apparently that's as many as we can have. That's fine, let's just have a load of them. So if we take any losses during this war, honestly, it doesn't even matter. We will probably take some knocks here. Ideally, you would like to, yet yeah, retreat momentarily. This is a big conflict right here. We've got a lot of troops, but we're going to start losing some as well. My Sonic Army of Tabbies is also doing excellent work and starting to see those guys off too. Yeah, this will do for now. I think we're not going to lose much in this invasion. Oh, bloody finally, the Fafossids and the Polity of Holfax are bloody at peace. And I think you've managed to lose territory. <laughs> How have you managed to lose territory? How? How did you do this? How are you so bad? Right, okay. Well, I've got a plan. So, the Raxar Alliance fleet 
let's just basically have that moving up in this direction. Because I think it's time to put an end to the polity of Holfax once and for all. But I'm not going to do it in a war sort of way. Alright, we're going to do it in a better sort of way. Speaking of which, Raxar, how are me and you feeling up to... Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Minus five. But if I give you a favourable trade deal, and it doesn't even need to be that favourable, then I can get that up. Okay. Let's just offer you a trade deal right now. Let's just basically give you some minerals. Some good old minerals. What if I just give you about, yeah, 12 plus. Yeah, there we are. Yes, they're laughing. They can't believe their luck. Right. Transfer them that. Now that should get them up to. They'll accept that. Absolutely. That gets them up to plus 40. Form non-aggression pact minus... Oh, minus 2. Opinion is only worth plus 8. Okay. Then we need to... Hmm. If I am more powerful than them, they will go for it. I think trust is now capped to 100. We have got... Threat is going down... Why do we still have claims on them? We do not have claims on you. Stop it. That's a lie. Um, okay. Come back to that. I think we've almost got there now. Right, two more relatively well-guarded worlds to go down around here in this territory. Nothing too major. Our army should all be able to handle it. Are you landing? You're supposed to be landing. Would you please land? Thank you. Heavy Anchor over here is somewhat but not massively well defended as well. Uh, Cabbage Liberation by this point should begin. A fleet has been lost. I assume that fleet just went through unfriendly territory. Uh, so I'm not quite sure where that was. Classy 3 is involved. Ah. Right. Okay. There's a small force cutting through here. Which we technically don't actually own yet. Um, could you actually win that fight? I don't know whether you might actually be able to win that fight with a bit of health. Which would save me having to bother sending anyone else around. Because if you're firing plasma, yeah actually, if you're just firing plasma right now, then its hull should collapse pretty quickly. So we may have lost an odd corvette here, but now... You guys, two Corvettes armed with high-quality plasma weaponry. And I say this. It kind of looks like this thing has a lot of... Ah, but... There's replacements coming in too. Right, well... You might win that one. I'm not sure. We're up to flipping three Corvettes at this point, And more are just being pulled in. I don't know what you guys are doing. I'm guessing you're trying to, you know, reinforce another fleet. Probably you're trying to reinforce shield fleet. And you've accidentally managed to actually capture a rather awkwardly out-of-the-way station that I did want capturing anyway. So, well done. Though, unfortunately, now they've been pulled into combat, I don't actually know where they were supposed to be going. Probably to shield fleet. Right, in addition, I can settle the status quo anytime I want to, obviously... Things very much in my favour right now. Quite frankly, it's weird they're only at 29% war exhaustion. <laughs> I'm occupying, like, you know, almost two full members of your federation right now. It's really worrying me how many people have jump drives now. And I've no idea where they've got them from. Because they couldn't have retro-engineered it off the, um, the interdimensional horror. Because I locked down that system almost immediately after we actually uh, took that thing out. Though... Uh, Borders are forced open during the 10-year peace. Maybe people went and did it that way. All it needs to have done is spread to one, and then potentially scanning debris opens up for everyone else. A lot of people, annoyingly, appear to have jump drives now. Also, bloody hell, look at the state of the Roman Empire. Held by mushrooms, held by mushrooms, held by mushrooms, held by the Zeppapuck. When this is over, what the bloody hell are they going to have left? There's going to be nothing. I'm going to need to leave some stronger fleets down here. Because it's only a matter of time until these guys decide they're going to be dicks and try and take over some of my territory. 
Right, invasion of the last infinite pond world, though of course various Mighty Duck breakaway states do survive. This isn't really the end for them, to be honest. There's plenty more of them still floating around. Right, that is the entirety of the infinite pond occupied. So, uh, they're not happy about life. Now, time to start having a think about down here. Because my plan to end that federation once and for all just strikes me as hilarious, even if it's not actually that tactically important. Uh, that is going to cost me 80, 160, 140, ouch. You know, I can just afford it. Screw it. Let's wipe those bastards out as well. That'll give me a little foothold down here from which to launch attacks on these guys and basically force them to be my vassals. Now, admittedly, getting there might be a bit of a problem because those guys actually hate me. Fine, let's pull the general security fleet down here. We can then almost certainly jump over the top, wipe out all of this, job done. We might even be generous and kill the pirates that keep attacking you at the same time. Back over to the Raxar. If I got my empire to be sufficiently stronger than his, how is relative power of empire calculated? Is that by fleet size or empire size? Okay, if it's empire size, I need to actually wrap up this war and then keep an eye on that because I might be able to become powerful enough I can force him into a non-aggression pact because it's so advantageous to him to have his very powerful neighbour agree not to attack him. Also, here's something I didn't actually uh, notice previously. One of my vassals appears to currently be occupied. Apparently occupied by these bastards. Honestly, they're... They're kind of welcome to him, really. I mean, I didn't really need... Yeah, I'm not going to bother going to bat for my vassal there, sorry. I've kind of got enough vassals, and all they do is cause trouble by laying claims that ruin my diplomatic relationship with everybody else. And I believe this should be the final world of the starfish being taken out there. Also, that's... Ooh, there's the gorse cannon. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ooh, improved strike craft. Yep, get that underway. Less than a year out. Marvellous. Uh, sorry, how was the invasion going? I probably should pay attention to that. The army appears to be in fine shape. Final few bits of defence collapsing. Job done. That is the entirety of the Starfish Empire occupied. Ditto the Infinite Pond. That leaves only the Romans and these bastards. And as for these bastards, the general security fleet is coming to take care of you. More research, more physics labs, always welcome. Uh, shield hit points, absolutely. Let's just get some more shielding going on. I do like having shields over armor if I can. But oh blimey, when this war ends, when both of these wars end, when my war and their war collapses, oh that's just going to be... It's not going to be a good day. I'm not even sure what's going to be left of the Romans. They might be nothing. They might have to... Ooh. Maybe they'll come to me begging to be vassalized. That'd be fun. Oh, and tragically, the cat pope is dead, leading to an emergency election. No, not investor. Not investor. That Like, something that's not that. Please. Or any of you. Or any of... Okay, you're all kind of terrible. To be honest. Uh, like, this guy's probably the best, but he's unlikely to get in. Which is a bit of a shame, because everyone just votes for whichever faction they're part of. Okay, this'll do. General Security Fleet, prepare to make the jump over there, please. Uh, let's actually just knock this out nice and quick. I believe this world is basically unguarded as well. This is... Uh, yep, yeah, you're literally one world. Uh, has only three armies on it. Not very good indeed. In fact, I don't need to bother bringing the actual main fleet over there. I will just bring in the transport fleet. That's uh, the new reinforcements. That will be plenty of strength to take care of that. And the strike craft are just coming in nice and fast in the technology. I might want to look at respecking all of my cruisers and battle cruisers into producing bombers. Because, yeah, advanced strike craft are actually pretty damn good. Oh, flip. Hang on. Big flipping news. The Raxar are willing to go for the non-aggression pact because my power has gone up. Right, form the non-aggression pact. Confirm. Okay. Yes. Say yes. Say yes, you stupid bastards. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Also, I think you've managed to... Have you actually managed to lose a system to the Rhino Turtles? Well done, you stupid bastards. Right, okay. Now, presumably... Over time, as a result, yeah, this is all good. 
This is excellently good news. Defensive pact, we must be at peace, they must be at peace. But it's going to get more and more likely as time goes on. Okay, it's going to get more likely. Oh, it looks like they're sending their... Yep, they're sending their fleet to us. It's probably not going to end well for them, to be honest. <laughs> I think it's one Corvette. Yeah, it's one Corvette. It didn't It didn't go desperately well. Marvellous. And yeah, the Tebazoid and their breakaways are actually doing very, very nicely there. All things considered. Right, guys. Get over here. That is pretty much going to be your lot, I'd say. Marvellous. Well done. And once that's done, we're going to eliminate three empires from the game simultaneously just by hitting the settle status quo button, which is going to be marvellous. I just want this to be a warning to anyone who decides to be friends with people I don't like, okay? It's not good for your health. And do I actually need to bother waiting for any bombardment? Honestly, I don't think I do. Really, these guys are not good quality stuff. Actually, you know what? I will transfer the leader over. I think it takes them like a few days to get there. No, it seems to have been instantaneous. The number is... Well, the number's just going up. Is that to represent him slowly arriving? <laughs> no, no, it seems to have stabilised. Right, land the armies. I'm guessing you've actually managed to make it there now. And yeah, with these forces and a good quality general and no one actually guarding the ground... We should just basically be ready to walk in. Once we do that, immediately afterwards we can settle the status quo after I've double checked that there is nothing else waiting that needs to be taken care of. Like any planet that's been taken back while I wasn't actually paying attention. And there we go. That is their one world occupied, together with the entirety of their empire. Right, quick check here. Hang on. Who, who does this belong to? No, that's Pax Romana territory. Don't worry about that. All that, Pax Romana. Infinite Pond. Mine, 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 mine. And world is occupied. And the same is true for... Hang on, the other... Yep, that's the other Infinite Pond world. And then there's no... Yeah, there's no planet up there. And then there's one planet here that's been occupied. I'm almost certain all of this is occupied. And none of it's been taken back at this point. Yeah, and make sure, obviously, we've got these star bases as well. Otherwise, it doesn't count. We have to hand the planet back, which is very annoying. All of that belongs to me. Yeah, I think we're good. Time to knock three empires out of the game. So, this war is ready to be won, pretty much. In fact, actually, I can just achieve my war goals completely. I get everything I want. Uh, in fact, I may as well settle the status quo. Whoa, actually, the result is... No, the result does actually appear to be the same. I don't want to achieve the war goals in case the war goals is... Actually, the war goals is settled claims, and I've actually settled all my claims. So, rather than just settling, I'm going to achieve, because it feels better. So, we're going to send the offer to you. They have no choice but to accept, and three empires will cease to exist as soon as Stellaris stops stuttering, because it's a bit terrified and confused of my mighty, mighty power. Yeah, you better surrender. Oh, I've got 13 planets. <laughs> The best possible outcome. And that's the end of the Death of Khans, And the Starfish. And the Infinite Pond. All flipping mine. And indeed, as I suspected, the Pax Romana has now reverted to its original colours. Which is kind of inverted Ganvius colours. Actually, inverted Pithok. I think the Pithoks had that first. So, Rome is now not part of... <laughs> Does... Oh wait, hang on. Is Rome going to survive this? I mean, it might do, because if they haven't actually bothered to go and occupy the planets, which very often the computer doesn't bother to do, they might get some of the planets back afterwards. You have to take the planet and the system uh, star base if you want to actually take that, even if you've got a claim on it. So, uh, right, well, that's all worked out pretty well. Admittedly, we're losing a lot of energy right now. Honestly, that'd be good. We could drain the bloody energy banks. It'd be marvellous. Um, right. Do any of these planets we've taken over actually require any works? I suspect not. Ah, uh, yes, of course. The slight issue that the Mighty Ducks failed to produce any food and thus starved and thus got stuck in a terrifying, nightmarish spiral downwards from which they could never actually escape. Well, I am going to give you guys farms. And all the power you need to power them, that's just going to be provided by my empire. So I hope you feel happy about being conquered because it's going to work out much better for you because you're no longer going to starve to death. Right, it's safe to say I've just put some improvements down, but that's basically fine. Oh, go on then. Have yourself an extra engineering facility or whatever, you stupid bastards. And all of you too. That's lovely. 
But we're pretty much fine to shove all of these straight into a sector. I'm not going to bother micromanaging all of these. We're way over capacity on plants right now. There we go. Every single one of them nice and quick shoved into warm sands, which now covers all of this territory. Lovely. Back to where we were. Back to gaining energy. Everything's fine. We've still got... Apparently we've still got Ultras. Why have we still got Ultras? Where was that again? Oh, that probably needs to just be shoved in there too. Ultras is looking fine. Like, look at that. That used to be filled with kill bots and now everything's happy and lovely there. Oh yeah, and technically I own Zert now. Um, but I don't really want to. So that can just be in the Zert sector. Everybody likes the Zert sector. The Zert sector's great. There you are. You can now basically just self-manage. Now, all of that sorted out, crucially... Oh, wait, hang on. I need to bloody get rid of some bloody star bases. Yep, definitely need to kill some star bases. We don't need any of these anymore. Now, big question. Do we need to bother reinforcing the southern frontier? I do not know. By the way, these two fleets can just be merged together, right? And when I say these two fleets, that's the wrong system. These two can, however. Shield fleet... You can just be reinforced, including now. Congratulations, you've gained a Titan. Shield Fleet now has a flipping Titan in its midst. Oh, lovely. I like having an offensive mass relay. Basically like a giant flipping... Oh, hello. What's that? Non-aggression pact invitation with the policy of Holfax. Interesting. Oh, it's happening again. The thing's happening where I've just won a major war and all of a sudden everyone flipping panics. Oh, no, this is interesting. The Bright Entente. Yeah. Exactly what I suspected might happen. Straight away, the Romans are throwing their lot in with the Ganvius and the Pithoc. Because, of course, they're going to. Now, the... The... Wait, the what? Wait, which one? Are... Is that you? Down... No, that's not you. Federation offer from the... Okay, one of the Mighty Ducks and the Polity of Holfax, Grechts. And, and the Arassians are potentially going to consider joining up with the Ganvius. Not exactly a good idea, to be honest. And everyone is non-aggressioning because they love doing that after a big war. Now! Now, 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 now. Me and you are... How have you lost this much space? Like, the Raxar appear to actually be losing this war. Which is quite frankly incredible. Against the Rhino Turtles. Technically, the Defender War Exhaustion is... Higher, but what on earth is going on here? It looks like they're going to lose all of this. And the Fafossans are also making moves towards, yeah, the lovely one down here. Okay, don't worry about that. Fafossans, me and you are all together. They are not particularly interested, however, in a federation. Because they are wary and we don't have enough in common. That's a shame. Uh, though we are, technically we're actually in a defensive pact with them. I feel like we don't need to be. We really don't. But as for... Wait, what? What What happened? Oh, I guess the threat just went up. Right. Um, so that's a shame. But we've still got the non-aggression pact. Trust is, actually trust is at 109. I thought it capped at 100. Maybe different things you can do increase the trust cap. I, I don't know. I'll need to look into how trust is working these days under the current patch. And how's this war down here going? This war is... Yeah, 85% defender war exhaustion at this point. Though, just because it gets to 100%, they don't have to quit immediately. They can keep going for, I think, another two years if they're desperate to. You, however... You, however, I feel like we could do something with. I feel like we could basically, rather than actually bothering to take these guys over and absorb them... I think they might actually make nice vassals. What we could do instead would be... Yeah, actually. Uh, hang on. Offer protectorate status. It sounds such a friendly way of saying fall in line or we will murder you. Uh, so they pay... Hmm. Well, some influence over their internal affairs. Protectorate have independence guaranteed from their overlord. 80% reduced tech costs for them. Honestly, I doubt they're going to be that into it, but then they are egalitarian and only a bit xenophobe. They might be willing to go for it just because I'm so much stronger than them. And I do have a couple of nice fleets chilling out here ready to go in. How well guarded are these worlds? One world there, fairly poorly guarded all things considered. Another world up here 
If this world is also poorly guarded, that one's better guarded, but a bit of bombardment will sort that out. Then we can just basically zip around the rest of it. No problem at all. Hmm. Might well be worth having a think about there. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I think we will leave things off there. Next time, I don't even know if the Romans are going to survive. The Romans might be just totally finished off. It depends how much of a thorough job these guys are doing with actually invading and whatnot. Because if they're invading worlds, then that's, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem for Rome. Yeah, like that. That's an occupied world right there. That world has actually been taken. They're doing a good job. I think Rome might flipping cease to exist, and this will turn into a weird border gore mishmash of mushrooms and zeppa pucks. And the zeppa pucks kind of hate me. And once they're done with that, they're kind of out of people to attack. Unless. Unless, unless, unless. Just in theory. If I was to attack you. Would anyone be up for... No, because you can't invite a federation to a joint war, can you? No, I do not believe you can. So, tragically, as nice as it would have been to potentially get those guys on board with me, they're not actually going to do it. Then we could both have expanded. It would have been lovely. I think we need to do some vassalization. Policy of whole facts, get rid of them. Uh, the Death of Can Syndicate, get rid of them. Clean up all of this space around here. Kind of, you know, just fill in the gaps a little bit. Stop pirates spawning in. Honestly, this bit of space is probably more trouble than it's worth. It's going to be expensive to settle it. I might even bother. I might just basically just kind of say, you know what? This is a buffer state between me and the dwarves. And also, it means... Actually, there's, there's almost no border along here, which is fascinating. I could take all of this and not gain any border with, yeah, Twitter or the mushrooms. That's potentially worth having a think about. Yes, you know what? There's big decisions to be made with what we do in the South next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Stellaris. Thank you very much and goodbye. We've all learnt a valuable lesson here. When people have the zombie plague, don't allow them into confined spaces with you. We should just actually, like, use cannons. Do we have cannons? Use the cannons. Oh, they've got a big hammer. That's what the noise is. And a pirate's just rammed them. Okay, I think we're, we're in a traffic jam on the sea.